Welcome back to another episode of Battletech Campaign. I'm back here and I'm here to survive the Torian attack, proceed to the RS Delphinus for extraction and making sure that Lady Camilla arrives. I guess we'll be using uh, predefined mechs, which means uh, we will know for sure that the opposition that we find is intended for us. Lady Camera, so on behalf of blah blah blah, here command you to. Oh shit. They're piloting SLDF battle mechs. We need reinforcements. Now! Nope. Mech warriors, our way home is on the other side of these Torians. Push through them and fight. For the reach! Just a heads up. For the horde! I mean. When we get to a safe distance, I'm gonna set off a little surprise I left behind for our Torian friends. Okay. Enemies like mechs begin using long range cannons to try to sh to hit us. You're gonna love it. So there's a surprise for them. I'm guessing everything has been rigged to explode. That would make sense. But uh Okay. That's That's a start, I guess. Lot damage holding firm. The good thing is we have morale and uh with morale we can do some pretty tricky things, like punching enemies out of uh, order. Well, let's see, what type of pilots do we have, other than Kamiya that we know? What's up, huh? So Reynard is a uh, gunner, has an ER, PPC and uh, normal missiles. Normal short range missile. What is this? Extended range PPC, range extreme. Completely useless right now, I think. The punch is for 70, this is uh, less than 70. But I already think I want to go for a punch. How about a punch from behind? That sounds good. Location confirmed. <gasps> what a excellent kick. This is a medium mech. Shadow Hawk ready to fire at us. He misses though, so that's not good for him. It is time for payback. There is another Highlander, so we hope it has a good setup. My turn now to move Canal Canaloa, who is a guts unit. Okay, which means he was made to punch people. So what do we want to do? Do we want to punch enemies till they die or do we want to just start moving out? Because there's more mechs incoming and I feel like if I don't take care of the ones in the front, we'll just start accumulating enemies. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna punch the Shadow Hawk to the next initiative order. Like this. Roger that. Our punch deals uh, 95 plus 20. Oh, pretty good. You. Ooh, that was good. So we made things explode, which means they won't have ammo, and they're also unsteady, and they have been punched back one initiative. Great. An enemy is firing at us from super far away, so we take some indirect fire. Not cool. But now we have two more units with extremely heavy boats. Oh, and a Gauss rifle. Mm, I like this. 75 damage at extreme range. Luckily, this is a multi-targeting and... Um... Oh, that's too close. How about this? I like that. So, let's move up here. And at least get two targets going, like this and this. We'll put everything that is long range on A and everything that is close range on B. Close range. Um, we really hope this deals a ton of damage. So let's go for it. Multiple targets confirmed. Phew. Okay. That looked really good. That looked really good. It's a shame that we didn't get to see the effects of the Gauss rifle. But the damage was dealt, and I believe both of them should fall down. 
Knockdown. Oh, one. That means another initiative order push. Great. Standing by. But not, not no knockdown for this other guy. We have some extreme lane extreme range lasers, some short range missiles, and the AC20. Okay, in that case. We move here. Do we even need to move? Do we have bulwark? No, we have sensor lock. Oh, that's kinda useless. Uh, okay, in that case we do move. Take a better angle. And uh, it's really a shame because I would like to do single targets on both to get two kills. But I don't think that would be the case. Alright, that is that is a decent thing. If we shoot everything from our zero heat, we will overheat instantly. Okay, so what do we care about? This, I don't... Mm. Okay, the 20 we shoot. Medium pulse, this is different. That's 30 damage. We turn it off, is it a good thing? Yes. How about this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's enough. Mm. How about this? So the AC-20 should delete whatever is remaining of this thing. But if it doesn't hit, we have some medium pulses ready to follow behind. How about one medium pulse? Is that enough? Mm. Okay, and then th the rest will go to the other guy. If the AC-20 hits, it will be a kill. So let's see how this goes. First on the Shadowhawk, some decent hits. Ah, oh, center torso destroyed. Excellent. Pilot incapacitate. <laughs> and exactly as we mentioned, the the AC20 instant hit, instant kill. We got a new achievement, destroy two mechs in the same turn using multi-target. And now the enemy mech <laughs> retreating. Smartly, I guess. And hitting long range weapons at very close range. Okay, that uh, was a decent shot. Three leg mechs ready to move. Only two of them should be up here with us. The Jenner dealing some very decent damage. I really like the Jenner. Such a good this mech. Got past my armor. Yep, 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 yep. Our legs are starting to get hurt. And then finally, uh, light mech super far away but still manages to get uh, into line of sight okay you. so what are we gonna do about you we are going to punch you that's exactly On what we're gonna way. do Sensors have something. that was a beautiful punch we got an arm and a half still the enemy gets to act Another blip on my screen. there are more blips on our screen but it's time to turn these blips off. I feel like another punch in, is in order. So let's go for it. Let's move. Good punch. Again, arm and a half. The laser aiding us. Not really doing much of a difference. But what's next? Rain of missiles. And cool. Oh, they hit our leg three, four times. That is just, just crazy. Internal structure damage. Also lucky for them. Okay. Yeah. Time to keep on shooting. Mm. We can choose what to shoot. That means it's time to shoot both. Close range. Ghost rifle. No, ghost is long range. Close range. Ah, this is indirect fire only. I see. Okay, maybe we need to move before we do this. Go like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Understood. Cat says hi. If anyone can listen. Boss rifle over here. LRM over here. And the rest can go to the melee target. Or close range target. So we shoot. RT destroyed, center torso survived by super lethal. And then the Gauss rifle, absolute damage. Knockdown, side torso destroyed, 
all the cool things ever. Good job. Yes, and let's see if we can repeat what we did last time with Camilla. We want to turn off some of these weapons. Thank you very much, but we don't need you. Um, I think it's safe to say... Oh wait, that's B. Never mind. So this goes to A. The SRM goes to B. The pulses go to B. And the AC20... Oh, actually, you know what? AC20 goes to B. Everything else goes to A. And the AC20, it's 100 damage. And it hits the same spot. That means something dies. We put the missiles as well. Let's take a shot. Center torso destroyed. Very effective. Oh no! We miss the 85% chance to hit. Ah, never lucky. The AC20 misses and that makes us super sad. New round. More tiny enemies. Shooting in the distance. PPC misses. Another light mech getting close to us. Some very decent hits. A head hit, which we don't really care about because those are not our pilots. And then finally, it will be time not to make a punch, but instead to shoot at your center torso. That's very decent. Goodbye! I would say that hit. So that pilot is down. That forces everyone to come up here. Long range shots, very, very, very good hits. That, that hurt really. 60 damage. Armor left and right here. What's that, an AC 10? That's pretty good. And even a tank. Wow, okay. We're getting hit from everywhere. Okay. Time to start destroying them. We can take a move that gives us some evasion pips. And we can turn on some of these weapons, but not all of them. Something like this. Because large lasers really, really like to consume a lot. You know what? I think it's better to turn off the, the light pulses. Even though they do a little bit more damage, they, they accumulate so much heat. So we take a shot. PPC hits, something gets destroyed. That's pretty much the rule. Tanks are still coming at us, so it's good that we got some evasion pips. But apparently everyone likes shooting at this guy. That's a little bit of a shame. Let's make sure that they don't get to move again. Yep. Do we, do we get to jump? Yes. Do we get to jump and see two units? Yes, we do. Confirm. Hey, Tully. What's up? She's playful, I see. <laughs> okay, so we can split the damage. <clears throat> we can use the Ghost Rifle long range <clears throat> and the LRM 20. Uh, if nothing else, just to damage the next unit because this general will, won't take much longer. Engaging <clears throat> so, some things destroyed, center torso exposed, not enough for a kill. But it really looks like the Ghost Rifle hit, so that's good. And let's see what Kamea can do in the same sense. So we move over here. We'll also have uh, the height advantage, which still works no matter what uh, strategy game you're playing. And we are obviously going to turn off some of these things. And uh, what can we aim at B? Nothing more than the LRM-20. Okay, this seems enough to destroy the Jenner. Again, if the AC-20 hits, that's gonna hurt. Discharging weapon. Boom. <laughs> exactly as I predicted. AC-20 hits, the thing dies. 
and then some tiny rain over here, which is gonna knock it down. That's exactly what we wanted. Well, the enforcer is down. That means this medium is now a heavy mech. So that means two units will get to shoot. No, one unit will get to shoot before it stands up. PPC hits the side of a mountain and the rest deals a tiny bit of damage at us. And let's see what type of position I can take from here. How about this? I will try to aim everything at the guy who is downed, because that makes the most sense. And uh, maybe we'll get a third parcel kill. I think the damage is not enough, but it could be a pretty good start. That's a 50, and that's all center torso, leaving it down at 30 health. Maybe we'll get the kill before he stands up. Vehicle number two, it's a scorpion, not too afraid of those. Kanaloa. Let's see if you can take care of the guy who is in the ground. Affirmative. I guess we want to turn this off, and even if we turn this on, it won't hit. So we go for you, and uh, everything else seems fine. Good luck. Target confirmed. PPC hits. That means it's time to die. A bigger mech is dead. That gives us a little bit more breathing room. Now this striker gets to move, but uh, it decides that it wants to shoot indirect missiles. Terrible idea in my opinion. Systems holding. I'll gladly take any yeah. mistake that the AI does. Um, I think it's time to start concentrating some fire. So we'll kill things one by one. And in this case, this panther needs to suffer a bit. I really feel like doing a precision strike, even though we're not likely to get a kill. Uh, mainly because um, Copy that. I want to push it back one initiative order. Okay, delete what I said. We just destroyed, destroyed. the side torso first, which make it, made it explode, which hurt the center torso, which is what we hit in the next volley. So that was a pretty good kill. Good job. I withdraw what I said. Is there any position at which we can do more than uh, some rough hits? Apparently not. In that case, uh, it's just better to start sprinting. I feel like this mission is pretty much over, unless there's any surprise. I guess these tanks will get one or two more turns. Okay, this distance should be good. Hold on just a second and... Exactly as we mentioned, everything got exploded. Surprise! Yang, what's that? Yep. We planted some demo charges and uh, we exploded everything. I'm glad one of our characters is at least pretty smart in our choices. Order. And it's raining, which is pretty good for us, because rain brings down the heat, lets us relax a little bit more, and maybe we even get some thunder. Time to move forward, time to turn off this PPC, because it takes too much heat, and time to start focusing on the scorpion. I Lots of side hits. Do we even get a distraction? Good job. Reporting. At this point the mission is pretty much over. Might as well just sprint forward. <laughs> We're forcing this enemy to find line of sight. Pretty effective. Uh, still it, ins it insists on indirect fire. I have no idea why. I didn't know I didn't even know that was possible. So that 
they could choose not to fire direct fire. Still, time to teach it why we prefer to use direct fire. What can I turn on? Is this okay? Yes, it's okay. And one laser pulse. PPC hits, everything hits, but we spread out the damage to... No, what? what? Okay, the center died because the game decided so. And the mission pretty much over. At least we can now order sprints for everyone. This is looking really good. This is Lady Arano to the IRS Delfinas. Captain Grigas, do you read me? Lady Arano, thank the gods. We got a visual on you and your lens. Get your people on board and we'll get you out of here. Thank you, Captain. Wait, what was that? As we mentioned, the only thing that could stop us is a surprise. Surprise! I told you you would die here. Say goodbye to your ride home. Oh no! Run, Lady Arano. Run as far as you can. I will find you all the same. That was mean. That was an unarmed support ship, you animal. <laughs> I, I really love these excuses. Like, like if there was any honor bound rule that says, you cannot shoot at my right home, you have to let me escape. Anyway, there was an unarmed support ship, you animal. There was no need for you to target it. Tell that to the crew of the new grunge. There you go. Exactly what are we talking about? How do you know about that? Ostergaard, answer me. He got the line. That's the status on the leopard, Doc. Talking clamps are still locked down tight, but I've opened the doors to engineering. We can manually disengage the clamps from there. I'll go prep her for takeoff. Darius, I'll need your help with the clamps. I'm on it. Lady Arano, I suggest that you head deeper into the valley. Uh, we'll have, they will have a target time targeting you with their artillery in there. Keep your eyes to the sky. Mayor will be on her way directly. Okay, so I am guessing we have to avoid red patches. Oh, 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 so they're asking us to go the other way. That's very interesting. Also, artillery hits in two turns. Means literally nothing for us. Um, we are in combat. Okay, so we are in combat, which means we can now use the reserve order. So we will let some of these mechs come in while still having no land of sight. Maybe check if they have... Uh, Salt max, and it looks like they do, or heavy tanks. We do not know. So we sprint back with everyone. The mission is not over. Receiving you. It's time to us for us to continue. Maybe we'll find an angle. Which um, uh, from which to shoot at directly, like this. That, that looks good. It's an Atlas 2. I've heard good things about Atlas. 140 punch sounds very decent. But we don't want to use this ones, uh, but everything else is absolutely game. So let's go for it. Even the AC-20 has this much range. Holy... Maybe I need to reconsider long range plus four. Okay, that seems to be the modifier because really this this accuracy on an AC-20 this far away, that's just crazy. I'll show you why. Wait, precision strike, breaching shot. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, the AC-20 will go on B because if it hits, it will ignore the cover thingy and everything else will go onto the other one. So oh, let's see. That's some good center hits. Tons of evasion damage. And then the AC-20. Boom! Dead center on the torso. All armor gone. Uh, I, I guess I guess maybe we can get this kill. That is an assault mech ready to hit us back. Oh, that is uncool. Also, we're in rough terrain, which means we could be easily knocked out. Let's, let's make sure that doesn't happen. This unit, not in range to do a lot, so we sprint forward. 
maybe this unit will be able to shoot this turn. That would be nice. Yep. Oh, I see no location with direct fire. Which means we are free to move anywhere. And I guess since we're only using indirect fire, it's just fine to move up here by a jump. So, how about this? Firing. Oh, those are some very, very good hits. Very good hits. Closing in on you, Lady Urano. Your time is running out. I don't think our time is running out just yet. But Lady Arano may get hit a little bit too much to my taste. Oh. <laughs> that is that is the opposite definition of armor holding. Yes, Commander. Um, so how can I prevent them from shooting Lady Arano dead? How about getting in the way? Is that a thing? Okay, so we get up here no. with a jetpack. We turn on the PPC, and one of you has not act yet. I believe it's this guy. Okay, in that, in that case, we'll shoot everything at you and hopefully destroy something of your weapons. If we destroy the LRM, we'll be very happy. Can we do that? Oh, you know what? You know what? We're gonna go aim at the torso, left torso, because this one has the missiles. If we destroy that, then he cannot do stability damage, I think. was not enough, not enough. It was a good try, so we're happy about that. What happened to him? He got scared? Okay! Hmm, wait, so someone will get to act. That's uncool. Okay, 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 okay. We'll continue moving forward. This is not looking too bad, so... We have to make do with whatever gets in the way. Sadly we cannot go for the left torso again. So I guess that was smart of him. Uh, I really don't want to use the L pulses. They're a little bit too expensive on me. Maybe we can use one. Looks good. PPC fires, hits the leg. Nothing else is damaged really. Oh wait, the leg is destroyed. I hate the delayed damage indicator. But I'm still pretty happy that we destroyed the legs of this guy. So, enemy turn. Now we will see if Kamiya takes damage. And she does not. That's great. Attention. So, all we have to do now is get over here. And we'll activate Vigilance because we still want to fire. And then we'll target this to enemies. LRMs on B. You know what? That's really not worth it. We'll put everything on A. Yeah, that sounds correct. Mm, we can even turn on some lasers. Maybe just one. My god, the heat consumption of this. This makes no sense. Go for it. Target confirmed. Ooh, the AC hits. Everything hits. Center is destroyed. Mass of mediums achievement. Destroyed 50 medium mechs. Okay, nothing cool. But that thing is dead. And now we have to move on forward. Two assault mechs ready to punish us whenever they get in range one day. What do you need? So we still don't have an angle to shoot at this thing. That's so uncool. In that case, we jump up here, and you know what? It's an LRM-20, and maybe, maybe, what is it better? To fire at the legs? Too much? And then that's not enough. Okay. So we cannot get a kill, but we can get an approximate kill. Maybe I should have gone for the torso. Good hits, good hits. We will see how this continues. Got yes, we all noticed this. Just to For the okay. 
Oh, the center torso of this unit has been exposed. Very important to notice this. Artillery falls in a place not indicated by the indicator, but... Okay, so they're chasing us with the artillery. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Mm. But we want to make sure that this unit stays safe, but uh, at the same time... Not the, the unit we really care about. So what we're gonna do is jump forward and use all weapons. Nope, use two weapons to start damaging these zoos. Little bit of damage dealt, pretty good. Sadly, it leads it lets this guy stand up and limp away. Run away, buddy! You can do it. And some indirect fire on our our guy that is already hurt. So I guess they will be all focusing fire on them. Okay. In that case, let's try to kill them before they get to do any real damage. I guess we'll have to go to rough terrain. Uh, wow, we don't even get evasion charges. This atlas really, really cannot move. But we have to do this because the other path is too long and we have to start going towards the, the goal. Very important, there are four mechs still remaining, not three. So we have to be careful with that. We'll continue on the same units and obviously turn off some of these things because they make no sense. So costly in heat. Uh, that feels correct. Go for it. That was pretty good. Um, stability damage, the AC hits, and even more stability damage. So it starts accumulating very heavily on these units. And now we can move here. Gain some evasion charges as well. And I guess we'll have to. Oh no, no, we can multi target. We multi target. The PPC goes to B. And the rest goes to the, the Vindicator. How about that? If the PPC hits here, I think that should be a knockdown. And this is the perfect amount of uh, heat before we even overheat. Firing on multiple enemies. Ooh, that was good. That was good. How good? Is it a kill, dude? Yes! Center torso destroyed. Successful. PPC hits. That is a knockdown. It's everything that we wanted. Pilot is now injured, and this would allow us maybe to take some good shots. But maybe, no, you know what? It's their turn to act. So all we got is a good knockdown and a scare, I guess. So maybe they'll start moving away. We'll see. They go for Griffin, the guy whose center torso is uh, exposed. I guess that makes sense. Uh, we'll have to think if we want to continue using him. Luckily, they start spreading out the fire, which means maybe, maybe that unit will get to survive. Ah, no, it's the same guy shooting at everyone. Okay. I, I still like that, because otherwise everything goes on to the same guy. Yeah. Did she say yeah? What do you need? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. That German voice acting. Let's move. Time to move in and continue on the same unit because at this point everything is an assault mech and we just have to take them down. Um, I don't even know what I can do to take them down faster. So all I'm gonna do is. Center mass, just shoot. Be as happy as you can. Something got exposed. Two things got exposed. That's pretty good. Uh, also, it almost got knocked down just for that. So it's unsteady already. It's on high. So that's a pretty good hit. Let's see. Let's hope uh, Reinhardt survives. And apparently, we will. Another unit takes heavy damage. Okay, Still nothing exposed. Oh, pretty good. Oh wait, why is he acting again? 
Oh, this, this unit was still there. Ready to act. Center torso survives, so we live to tell the tale. Rain fire on your lance and smile as it burns. No, you won't. We're moving faster than you can shoot. Good to go. So Reynard lives. <laughs> Sorry, Reynard. This is not a streamer. And uh, one leg, one leg is almost destroyed. We cannot even death from above satisfactory. Satisfactorily. So we will just. What will I do? I feel like hiding for one turn at least with this unit. And if that's the feeling I have, I should go with my instinct. Right? That makes sense. Maybe after they shoot. Uh, maybe after I kill one of them or two of them, I'll feel confident enough to show my face again. Aye, aye. Okay. So we can start flanking them. At least we'll get that. Okay, this is a good enough of a move. Moving out. And we'll have to turn off the pulses because obviously we won't be able to use them. <coughs> and we're gonna focus fire. <coughs> These assault mechs have a ton of armor everywhere. So we'll have to destroy whatever we can. Another knockdown, side torso destroyed. <coughs> At this point I believe killing the pilot should be easier than destroying the mech. So the mech stands up again, now with two less parts. <coughs> and decides he had enough, so he starts running away. Oh, still shoots. Our Highlander ignores the the shots. Very steady. You have my attention. Mm. So Lady Arano could go through rough terrain and start taking close range shots. The AC20 can easily destroy this thing. So maybe that's what we do. Nope, nope. So center torso is exposed, but it has so much health. So we will go for it. Regardless. Maybe 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 I'll aim the LRMs on him, but the rest goes onto the suit. Copy that. It's an awesome. The awesome is getting hit. Oh, please show me the action. Oh game, come on. So very decent hits hit hits, but still no knockdown. Maybe we should have kept the long-range missiles on it. Finally, structure explodes uh, after taking four uh, PPCs what do you need? to the face. I guess that's decent. And... Uh, can we jump around with this unit? I think we could. So if we can, let's do it. <clears throat> I feel, however, that I should absolutely make sure that this unit dies, so I'm gonna go full on it. All weapons fire. <coughs> we missed the ghost rifle, but finally everything else gets destroyed. <coughs> Need some water. <coughs> <laughs> it's time for melee punches. Kicks in this case. <coughs> Is that a knockdown? Okay. <clears throat> that got pretty close to my liking. Out of just one punch. Interesting. So, uh, now that the enemy has been weakened. <coughs> okay. We can move around and uh, start dealing some extra damage with Reynard. Maybe attract some fire out of Kamea. Ah, right, because we we walk through rough terrain, so that debuff is really really important. Roger that. So we fire around here. We should have activated the PPC. My bad. Orders. 
Mm, this guy has bulwark, so maybe I'll just fire. Maybe not. If I fire, I drop two evasion pips. Uh, sorry, two um, stability pips, which is good. And uh, there's nothing more we can do. So let's, let's fire. QPC hits the leg. I don't think we did much. So let's see if they decide to go for Kamiya again. That would be bad. No, they go for Griffin. And Griffin dodges. Good job! Oh wait, they're spreading out the fire. Okay, second PPC hits dead center. Come on. Send me a real mech warrior. But Kamea lives to tell the tale. I'm listening. So we'll use Vigilance. Absolutely no way we can survive without uh, activating this. Or guarding, whatever fits. And then the question is, do we go for the 140? And the answer is absolutely yes. I have to say though, the AC20 very capable. Oh, did we miss a 95%? So this is this the second one, the third one in this mission alone? Ah, game. And the enemy obviously hits. Force of hit. Structure exposed. Super uncool. And we even had the bulwark, so. Everything going down. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good punch by the enemy. So let's try to return the favor. You know what? If we're gonna roll the dice, might as well roll for 230 damage. Uh, I really hope our legs can take it. What is it? 115... 127. Okay, both our legs can take it. <clears throat> and it's a 70% chance to hit. This looks really bad. But we do it anyway because it's hilarious. Go for it. Boom! Oh, one leg is absolutely gone. Instant knockdown. Goodbye. Pilot injured. Thanks to the knockdown. And now we'll have some free turns. We should at it. So, Reynard. Again. Let's get... Uh, or evasion pips and break the line of sight to the other enemy. And then we'll activate everything. <clears throat> and now we can check. This is 90, uh, 210. This is way more. So if we destroy the second leg, this mech is done. So let's go for that. Uh, it was not good. But it was a nice try anyway. What did we hit? <clears throat> oh, certainly not the center torso. <laughs> really, what did we hit? Like, I, uh, I guess we hit the leg a few times, but that sounds pretty bad. Okay, so if we were to fire here with everything and we destroy it? Well, I don't know if we can destroy it, but we can absolutely try. Go for it. Something got destroyed. It's the side torso. Okay, that was close enough. It's not, not what we wanted. Aye, aye. But a pretty darn hit. Pretty darn good hit anyway. So we now take a new angle. Uh, turn off both pulses. That's good. And let's, let's end this leg. Let's make sure that this guy dies. Can I do this? I cannot. Taking the shot. PPC hits the leg, the leg dies, both legs destroyed, that means mech, mech is down. <clears throat> that leaves only one enemy standing, and now it will have to make some pretty tough choices. Goes for Canola, Canaloa, gets nothing. More than a few hits, a few shots in. Uh, this death from above was great, but we cannot use another, so... Dead. Instead, we're just gonna fly. And I'm gonna use Vigilance, because we have four hips. Go 
volunteered for this shit assignment so I can have the pleasure of hunting you down. But when I catch you, I will make you pay okay. for the death of my son. At least this tells us why this guy wants us so dead. We just don't know who his son is or was. <clears throat> Still, we have a job to do to kill this awesome. Your son was about the new Grinch, wasn't he? That's what this is about. It was the captain of the new Grinch. You spoke with him. I listened to his flight recorder. I heard you order his death. That's the truth. Then you know that I asked him to stand down. He was under orders. He couldn't stand down. But even if he could, do you think it would matter? He was my son. <sighs> Whoever wrote this is not really good at this. Nothing you say or do can make this right. The only restitution I will accept is your death. And so, Lady Arno, I'm coming for you, so I will kill you, I guess. Um, pray that your uncle's soldier reach before you I do. reach you before I do. Blah 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 blah. I'm not afraid, buddy. Bring it. I have cool max. So we'll keep on shooting and hope that this is enough to bring it down. The PPC should do the trick if it hits, and I saw a hit. So we get the right arm destroyed and a knockdown, and one of the legs is exposed. But I think going for center torso this time makes way more sense. <coughs> Receiving you. So Kanaloa, please find a way to target this enemy. On my way. Center torso. Can we turn this on? Barely. Yes. Good job. Copy that. Some hits. More hits. That's look really good. Center torso destroyed. Mission pretty much complete. <clears throat> but I said the same last time, so who knows? Maybe we cannot do this. Time to run. Time to run. Time to run. Time to run. Heading out. Position confirmed. Yeah. And Don't we'll keep on running I'm moving. with everyone Position as if this was a VIP mission. I'm on my way. Everyone is now in the area, so I guess we'll get interrupted by comms. Yep. Got you, Lady Arano. Sending our return curse to the Argo. We'll need to fall back to restoration space while we still can. Thank you, Miss Meyer. And you, Commander. You've saved my life. Both of you. Yeah, well, this is what I do for a living. I wouldn't be too so sure about this. If the Torians, my people, are on the Director's side, I don't know if any of us will ever be safe again. Hey, Akira. Successful. Funny, because I'm Bakira. <laughs> GG indeed. I really don't know what do I get to keep from all of these mechs. It would be pretty cool if we get some ancient technology on our side. At least the weapons. That Gauss rifle was so brutal. The AC-20 was amazing, but that's a normal weapon anyway. So, we get the payoff. Let's see what we get of loot. The mechs survive pretty well. No parts destroyed. Armor on the back. Revealed. Yeah, thank you. No spoilers, please. We're enjoying the campaign as we play it. Well, let's see. Can we build anything from the remains? I don't think so. But uh, I've heard good things about the awesome. I can finish. Oh, wait. We can finish a battle master. Whatever this is. So it's an assault. Heavy Brawler and Close Assault, zero heat efficiency, some jump jets, mm, 20 million lasers, 85 ton, okay, we'll take it, we'll take it anyway. And then Azuz. Uh, we actually have two assaults already, so we're doing pretty well. <laughs> Gesundheit, bitte. Let's see if there's any special drops. Whoa. 
that is the definition of a special drop. And uh, you know what? I'm not sure I want to take all of these things. Because that's a gyro for plus one melee hit. Wait, what is this? Chance to hit? I don't, I don't know if I want to take that. A few hit sinks. Just a few. A few jump jets. And then ammo. I'm surprised that there is no special ammo. I guess the base game of tabletop did not have special ammo. So this is what we choose to take then. Let's see what the random tells us that we also got. Literally nothing. That's good. We tried. Uh, my pilots are by far not maxed. Um, I do have everyone with the three abilities, but uh, the other trees are very low. And I believe no one has even full points on any tree. Still, they're performing pretty well. Let's watch the cinematic together. This isn't over, Lady Arano. I will find you. My son will be avenged. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. Repeat that sentence. Okay, we get some more stories. Alright, that was a nightmare. But I think we're finally through it. Quarantine the Locura in second storage. Secondary storage. I've shut down the drive. Can't hurt us anymore. So they renamed the virus Locura. I guess that's cute. Excuse me, dog. The what? Malicious code from the Nautilus. That's what I'm calling it now. The Locura. Yeah, like the wind. Like Lady Arano's story. It needed a name and it seemed appropriate as anything else. Any objections? A random Spanish showing up in space 3000 years later. I don't care what we call it, dog. I just want to know what we're gonna do with it. Well, let's leave it alone. Secondary storage is now officially off limits. Means no more Star League maps, no more hidden archive, nothing. Put some yellow tape on it, around it if you need. Whatever you have to do to remind yourselves, just don't touch it. Somehow, something tells me that nobody will be touching it. You'll need to answer to me. Mira was right, this entire story episode was a terrible mistake. We're still alive, Lady Arano. We even recovered a few battle mechs. I'm calling that a win. Yep, that's exactly it. <clears throat> are you sure that the rest of Argos systems are secure, Farah? I mean, really sure. If they weren't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I'm about 90% certain that the code... <laughs> 90? Come on, we've played enough XCOM and this game to know that 90% means nothing. That code was trying to detonate fuel reserves. Uh, if it were still doing damage, the Argo probably would have exploded by now. Um, what the hell is alright? Oh, you have the dog hands off the secondary storage, let's move on, we have other problems to discuss. That is entirely correct. Like the fact that we're fighting the Torians now? Sure, let's talk about that. How the hell did that happen? I mean, I get that we killed the Commodore's son, but people die every day. Nations usually don't go to war over them. I think the director has been in bed with the Torians for a while now, Yang. That's where the weapons have been coming from. Shits like the New Grange have been running weapons to the Directorate since our victory on Weldry. The New Grange was a Torian vessel. It stands to reason that Espinosa and Protectant Calderon have been doing business on the sly ever since the war started. Now, now. Right now, the why of it doesn't matter. Torians have just declared war on the restoration that changes everything. Alexander, I need you to conduct Lady Centralia and arrange a war council. Maybe she can help us dig ourselves out of this. I'll need you there as well, Commander. Be ready to set a curse for Weldry. Roger that, Lady Arano. When we hear from you, we'll come running. Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. Good. In the meantime, I must return to our people. In the face of the Torian war machine, I fear that our systems may begin to abandon us. The founding houses that we've already liberated need to see that our cause isn't lost. You sure about that? Because from where I'm standing, the things aren't looking good. Yep. 
I'll win find a way out of this, Mr. Virtanen. I swear it on my father's name. Your father's dead. Thanks for your help on how to offer the Star League era Highlander. Uh, is this any different than the one we had? May it carry you to victory in the days to come. The Highlander blah 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 is an ancient model of a uh, ghost rifle with a terrifying weapon. Mmm, so good. And give it a huge punch at almost any range, but you can't find those anymore. And of course, it still has the jump capability it's always been known for. Yes, of course, always. But deep in Director at Space Commander, there won't be any work for us out here, so we'll need to plot a curse back to the restoration. Come to the navigation when you're ready. Okay. Versatile and powerful, the Master Battletech 1G is one of the best, so this is because we completed the Battle Master. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, the Ghost Rifle really, really packed a punch. And I'm more than interested in seeing how we're gonna use that. So, what did we complete? This Battle Master, it's an assault. And this heavy. Orion. No, this, this one was there before. So the Battle Master, yes, and then 732, 733, I see. So they're slightly different, I guess. Alright, alright. Oh, okay, so the Gauss rifle requires Gauss ammo. And I'm guessing. I'm guessing I should put all of these together, because if we ever lose it, we just lose the whole thing, right? Ooh, it even has heatsinks D, whatever that means. So a normal heatsink is uh, minus 3 heat per turn, and the D double is minus 6 heat per turn. So what's the good thing? Oh right, it requires only 1 ton, so the same? Interesting. So it requires the same amount of, uh, sorry, more slots, but it requires one less ton. Eh, interesting. Interesting. So I could also just salvage all of this and put it on other mods, on other things. What could we do with a boat like this? I mean, I could create, together with the ghost rifle, two PPCs. Oh, the rifle counts as a as a machine gun thing. Mm, I could keep the LRM20. I could replace all these lasers for uh, PPCs. Maybe that's an interesting idea. Let's let's check out how, how that would look. So we put this away. Put this here. We put this here. We put this here. And we say PPC, PPC. <laughs> I guess that makes absolute sense. So no missiles. How about that? Wait, wait, wait. No, none of these missiles. Okay, we got closer, but still not there. How about we remove one PPC? Wow. I like this. I like this as the new sniper type of uh, of mech for Bakira. It has the ghost rifle that deals insane damage at extreme range. EPC plus, same reasoning, extreme range. LRM20 plus plus speaks by itself. All of the stability. Yeah, that's true. 40 stability. So basically, an alpha strike by Bakira using this would absolutely send someone down to the floor. I really, really like that. So let's let's put this over here. Um, I think I think the armor is badly distributed. So I'm gonna subtract some here and there. Especially this arm can supply armor to everyone else by by existing. And I guess center torso has enough. Maybe not. How about this? Ooh, I really like this, I have to say. So we end up with a 
what's what's the amount of damage? 75, 55, that is 130. And let's assume this all hits. That's uh, 210. 210 damage at more than visual range distance. And still we can take uh, an insanely decent amount of hits from the front. Maybe not from the arm. So, how long would this take? Four days? That is crazy. I like it. Right. And now all we need to do is check what Decker will use. What did Decker have? So... Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's go back for a bit. Um, Behemoth is using this Highlander because it gets close and it destroys people in close range. Um, Bucky is going to be using this. You know who needs an update? And maybe we go for a heavy. Ah, do we have a heavy for... Because I'm thinking Glitch absolutely needs something new. And none of these heavies seem to cut it. Ghost PPC AC5 on one of my Atlas. Sets up the knockdown every time. Yeah, I, re I really think this also has got the trick done. Down. Uh, hmm. How can I how can I prepare a heavy mech for PPC? Because yes, going fast uh, makes sense, but I think at this point we're facing so many assault mechs that I need to pack more firepower, and uh, for that I wish I had a heavy capable of shooting a ton of missiles a real ton like like something like four or five hard points that's what i want so i guess we'll go hunting for them uh not here apparently because there's nothing we could buy another ppc Maybe we need to check the star map finally and think about where we want to go. But we are here. Our travel contract is here. Attributes, Comstar presence, mining, periphery level. Ah, I see. What about this way? I guess this is the mechanic to go to harder places. No, we never really checked this map. What does this all mean? Is this Federation? Wait. Where's the Federation Sans Stars? Dynmar Majoris? Planetary Government? Magistry of Canopus? Free Worlds League? Capellan Confederation. I don't know restoration. Hey, we exist. Good job. The Algorian Directorate. So it's this fighting this, and then the other giants are like, hi. Planetary. Taurian Concordat. I see, okay, so they, they are pretty close. That explains why they keep helping each other. I guess that makes sense. And are these the Federation Sons? So our origin story lies with the Federation Sons and we have yet to meet any of them at all. So that's interesting. Okay, let's go back. Uh, another Atlas with two AC20++. Holy... Yep, that, that seems like a pretty straightforward shredder. Nice build, Akira. That seems like a... You're further into the game than me. <laughs> but I, you said you just finished it, so yes, that makes sense. Let's see if we have any contracts already available. A favor to regret. Requires 16 days of travel and a ton of tonnage. Aha. A high tonnage pirate lens will shortly make planet fall. Uh, at the behest of blah 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 blah. Hint suggest Vanguard blah 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 blah. Out in the region. Um, they want us to stop them. Okay, so what we will do, 
um, is travel to this place to get this mission because we are absolutely going for the salvage. And secondarily, Calculating course now, Commander. we will check if we want to do any other modification to our mechs because we are absolutely looking to get uh, a heavy mech that has a ton of hard points. If anyone wants to recommend a good one that I should be looking out for, please speak now. How long have I been playing? Wow, I that's a good question. I'm checking on Steam. And Steam says uh, 40 minutes. That doesn't sound correct. 53 hours. But in my defense, this is like the third campaign. Because I abandoned the first two since I didn't start streaming then. Uh, I got to play like 10 hours, let's say, before this campaign. So let, let's go with 40 hours. That seems fair. I'm enjoying the game pretty much. Alright. Um, we wanted to check if any of our mech warriors wanted to level. Specifically me. That's just more hit. I'm not convinced that that's necessary right now. Yeah, it seems I've been playing for longer. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm just taking more time. So what could I do? I don't think I want to go for there. But more overheat threshold sounds good. What would I get in from tactics? Ooh, there's an interesting point about tactics, which is minimum range and the cold shot bonus. So I'll consider that. Um, at this point. Our hits are so good that I don't think I want any of that. And then... Piloting, there's really nothing useful for me. So let's get the, sh the call shot bonus going. Training complete. On Bakira as well. I don't know if we'll be, we'll be using it a lot, but uh, why not start with it? This doesn't get as much. This gives us some things. A very tricky proposal. I really would like to know what the third point gives us. Uh, uh, sorry, what the last point gives us here. And in the meantime, I guess I could start. Yeah, let's go with this. I think at this point, uh, since we're gonna be knocking people down very easily, um, having call shot bonuses makes perfect sense. At least, at least the first level. We can check later if we need more. Ready for orders. And you, my dear Decker, you haven't played in a while. Uh, Akira, can you tell me what max out piloting does? Because buying this point is quite expensive. What can I do for you? I guess we can start saving up right now. Um, all right, all right, all right. Glitch. I think I think you will also save your training for now. The last point in movement does does two evasion. Okay, that's interesting. So you can get up to six. That's very interesting. Job's done, Commander. Job's done. We need to modify any other mech. So let's review shortly. This one is for Bakira, this one is for Behemoth, uh, the Dragon is for um, Decker, and I guess we'll continue using the Shadowhawk, no, the, what was it? Where's the other guy? We have, I think we have too many mechs, I think it's time for me to start tripping some mechs. I see, so you can get that gyro for 3 defense, which is basically an increase to evasion. Interesting. So we'll keep this dragon for Decker, and then... Oh right, okay, so we forgot to repair the Centurion. That explains. The Centurion is the mech that our dear 
the glitch is using. Battlemaster... I don't know if I want to change this. Highlander, Highlander. I mean, we could... We could replace... But the Highlander has such a good punch. And that really belongs to Behemoth. What we could totally do is give uh, Behemoth this one that has less attack uh, so we can give the missile boat title back to oh you know what we're gonna we're gonna look for the correct mech and when we find it we're gonna do the change in the meantime we continue examining the shops see if there's something new but there's not in the meantime we're gonna make sure that uh Glitch stays safe, is complete. and then we'll go from there. So we'll continue traveling. Hopefully, whatever and whenever we reach the other place. You managed to snag a king crab. 100 ton when you got the Highlander. Wow. I've heard things about the King Crab, and 100 tons seems like a lot of room for a lot of weapons. I've also been reading in the subreddit that people are building a 6 PPC, um, like a, a double turner, so to speak, because on the first shot they shut down, and on, then on the next turn they have to wake up. Uh, and they put zero exhaust ports, zero hit sinks. That means they they aim to overheat with every shot. I don't think I want to build such a cheesy tactic. I guess it works. I shouldn't call it cheesy because in XCOM I've done crazy stuff too. Uh, but I, I don't think I feel like playing in such a passive way. There we go. That sounds better. Alright, ship upgrade finishes. We can build the next. And the next is uh, improved library and lane. The arcade requires a gamma pod. Okay. That requires 2.2 millions. That is not okay. In that case, I really don't know what to build. Scaffolding, harness. You know what, it's time to get some engines going. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can be liked by the directorate? This makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. Underworld friends. Reflect the pirates that you're criminals just like them. Okay. So, uh, there's an ambush. You're flying through our space, strangers. Oh, for dangerous out here. Awful, especially for a racked looking ship like the Argo, is it? Tell you what, we'll provide you with safe passage. For a price, of course. I'll consider my options. Uh, Commander, if you can buy me some time, I could do a rapid fire up the level. That will teach them not to mess up with us. Uh... <sighs> you know what? I, I hope this doesn't cost me morale, but paying them off is really cheap. Ah, I knew it. Morale. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't want to risk anything to get destroyed. So we will see what happens. Okay. So we got to orbit. And I think we can prepare for the mission. However, we'll say not yet. And we'll visit the store. Check what we can buy. An interesting AC5 with extra stability damage. Why not? New weapon systems available. Some random things. Oh, a small laser with one accuracy. I'll buy it because it's cute. New weapon systems available. I think that's it. Nothing special anymore. Time to launch the contract. So, 
I think we need to rearrange some stuff. In that case, we place ourselves here, glitch here, there we go. Um, this Highlander is the one that we give Behemoth. This Dragon is the one we gave Decker. This Centurion is the one from Glitch. And this one is the new one for Bakira. We are deploying four stars. They are deploying four stars. Okay, fair enough. And then let's make double sure that everyone has the right weapons. You seem correct. You seem correct. And finally, you seem correct as well. Ooh, the small lasers with 30 damage. That's very interesting. Okay, so we're ready to deploy. And as always, uh, this is the moment where we cut the stream. And since it's also pretty late, uh, I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you all for watching. You've been a wonderful public audience. So, see you next time. I'm guessing tomorrow. Goodbye.